We definitely had an encounter with a ghost, uh, an angel. When I took the photo, this is what it looks like. Highly likely to be a Christmas dumpster fire. Here we go. What could go wrong? It's officially Christmas. Don't know if you can see the Christmas bush back here thriving. But welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. I'm Jocelyn. If you're new here, welcome to the freaking party. Welcome to probably one of the most Delulu people on the interwebs. And if you don't know what I mean, you are about to find out. So tomorrow, my husband, Chris and I, I don't know why I just called him my husband. I guess it's like you've never been on this channel. Chris and I, who he's like basically, I'm momagering him into the spotlight or wife, wife majoring him into the spotlight. Tomorrow, Chris and I are taking our annual holiday card with one of our good friends, Lindsay, who is a photographer here in LA. And I have this like idea for what I want it to look like. Ralph Lauren, plaid, but guess what? As it would turn out in the least shocking twist of all time, I only have one day to get this shiz together. And on top of that, I have had literally zero luck in finding like the kind of loop. Isn't it oddly shocking that one cannot find like a plaid ball gown at just the blink of an eye? Shocking, right? Because I'm Delulu, super Delulu, um, I'm about to go to Joanne Fabric and see if I can find some fabric and just like sew my own dress today before the photos tomorrow. So <laughs> here we go, what could go wrong? Well, here we go, just got to Joanne. By the way, is anyone else super perplexed that it's not Joanne's fabric? I've thought this entire time that my girl had an S. No, it's just Joanne fabric, that is it. Anyways, I, I guess pray for me. Why do I keep saying that? Like. I, I do need help though, let's be real. What's happening here? It's giving Duggar. I'm procrastinating, I need to go inside. Back from Joanne Fabric, also major update. We might have switched the shoot to today in like four hours. So let me just show you the fabric really quick. I got two options, which now I'm regretting because I can't make up my mind. Right here are the fabric options. I have this one, which definitely incorporates like green, red, black, yellow, all the colors. And then I have this one, which is still festive, I think. And then I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I bought Chris this suit at Target because it just felt like the right thing to do. So I'm kind of like leaning more towards this one. <gasps> I honestly don't have time to question my decisions. So I think I'm just gonna get started with trying to like sew this together. I have to go down to my storage unit and get my sewing machine. My house, by the way, what has ever been more relatable? If your house is not trashed, are you holidaying? That's my question. update from the sewing front, which by the way, I know I started this whole vlogging thing as a way for us to like get to know each other better. So you probably have no idea that I can like kind of like, uh, it's a thing I'm sort of okay at is sewing. I need to update you on what's going on with the dress. It's really coming together. So the skirt is done. So this is literally just like elastic at the top. I'm not even gonna finish it on the bottom cause I don't have time. And then I'm sewing it onto a tube top I already had. And I feel like this is kind of working. So let's just stay tuned for what Chris thinks. It's happening. We are in the car, got on my outfit, which you haven't even seen yet. This is Lindsay, our amazing photographer and friend, IRL. So honestly, we're running a little bit late, not because of me taking too long to get ready for once, but because I was waiting for this delivery of hats, this hat delivery that never came. So Lindsay's so kind. She brought me this like faux fur to wear. Thank you so much, Lindsay. You haven't even, can you kind of see at all this outfit I'm wearing? We're gonna have to get your reaction once we get there because it's really something else. Chris actually audibly laughed at me when I came home. That's true. Real? Real question, what do you think about my outfit? I mean, it's cute. Um, <laughs> a little Amish. A little Amish! I can work with that, I can work with that, I can work with that. It only looked like it when only the bottom was on because it like came out really fluffy, just the bottom. <laughs> so far, a little Amish and but we're good to go. Good. Thank you so much. It turned okay. out good with the top. Very sweet. Lens, I can't wait for you to see this. We are out here, all right? We are photo shooting. I look nude in this shot right now. The light is perfect and Chris is having fun. We've almost been crying. We've been having so much fun. What are we doing next, Lens? It's time to get silly. Okay, okay, yeah, that's gonna be really hard for us. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, oh 
I'm still recording. Oh my gosh, photo shoot in 30 minutes. recommend all people out there who have a partner who doesn't like love shoots but who's very photogenic and willing to go along with the game like Chris Reese find Lindsay because she will agree to shoot you in 30 minutes <laughs> and then what's our agreement after a shoot oh, I, I'm, I'm Oda Martini guess what 10 out of 10 times it works it slaps in the car per the usual our favorite weekend activity and by favorite I mean no, it just depends. I hate traffic. He hates traffic. I like driving. I hate traffic. Yeah. The holidays here in Los Angeles are in full freaking swing. We are headed to not our first, but our second holiday shindig of the day. Actually, we're not going to a party. We've kind of been hired as workers. We're becoming for, the party. We're, we're becoming the party. She keeps saying like, no, 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 you guys are guests. But I also feel like we're workers. We're, we're workers. there to provide a service. We are there to be bartenders at this holiday party. And so we're headed to clock in. I also told her, I'm like, if my husband is the bartender at your holiday party there is no way anyone should be driving there beware i have a heavy hand yeah we're spending the night for the record i'm excited to see what it's gonna look like though because my sister's been spending a lot of time and energy and effort with decoratives so excited one of our favorite questions a question that chris asked me almost daily is what is your favorite holiday song and what is yours oh holy night oh holy night is his favorite my favorite is you remember? Da, na, 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 na. Merry happy Christmas and holiday. Happy Holidays by NSYNC. On the note of Christmas songs, I wanted to share something really random that I don't think we've ever, or I don't know if I've ever shared on this channel. Chris, when we first started dating, for like the first year that we were dating, lived with the kings of Christmas. It's true. It's true, it is true. Do you care to elaborate? Do you care? I care. I feel like the people will find it interesting. Yes. Who his roommates a were. the Pentatonics members. Scott and Mitch. Scott and Mitch, the kings of Christmas. This time of year, they own the world. Yep. Them, Mariah Carey, that's it. They're up there, top two. Fun little fact, what was it like living with Grammy winning RDs? It was really fun. I just belt out some songs every now and then. I get to hear some melodies in the kitchen. Did Scott and Mitch ever teach you how to harmonize? They never wanted to tell me how to do it. <laughs> Gatekeeping. Yeah, there were gatekeeping gatekeepers. skills. <laughs> Harmonizing gatekeepers. I've arrived at my job and my boss is now walking me through what's happening. Strict <laughs> boss. So what are we doing first? First, we need to put all the like chargers and the plates and the napkins on the table. Great, it's already pretty out there. Let's go look at it. Here's what the space looks like. Welcome to Christmas in California, by the way. A long table, some heaters on each side. This is the food table. And then these are all of the, these are great. Ali, did you get these candlesticks from Walmart? Yes, I did. Did they come in a set? There were six, they were six. A set of six, how much were these? Like a total, like three, four dollars. And you got blankets for all the girls. Yes. The guys can just freeze to death. Is that oh. big Brie? Yep, get in there, Chris. Mm -hmm. to bed while people were still there. That's true, but it was still past midnight. Something crazy happened yesterday. We might be moving, we might be getting a new house. Not totally sure. So we get this like really wild news. Oh, hang on, hang on, tell us what's going on. Okay, so we have a counter offer. They said that 15 people reached out and a bunch of people saw it today and they're also holding it open tomorrow. What What are we gonna do? I think we should do it. What do you okay, think? Okay, yes. Accept this, yes. it's our choice to get it. Okay, then say yes. What? Truly shocked. Shocking news. Shock. Did not think that was gonna happen because this place is so competitive. Like, why would you pick us? And we go outside and the party is happening and I decide to take some photos. Chris and my brother-in-law, Matt, are sitting at the fire pit. And as I'm taking the photo, it, this is so weird because I take pictures all the time. I could sort of see like something moving like in my video capture, like on my phone, I could see. But then like in real life, I couldn't see. And then when I took the photo, this is what it looks like. That is the wings of an angel. 
That is a ghost. You know what's even weirder? That I didn't even really fully realize this till today, but it wasn't in the sky visually, but you saw it moving in the camera yeah. when you were taking it. We definitely had an encounter with a ghost, That's an weird. angel. It was definitely a like, godly entity. There was no negative vibes. If you zoom in, it looks like a robe with a head. And it looks robe. like angel wings. So insane. Also, by the way, don't know if you guys know this, but we are like woo to the woo woo woo. We believe in the spiritual world. That's like already, if you didn't know, I know. we're woo to the woo, all right? Who else is in the woo to the woo? Are you with us? We think it's like the angel, is it your dad? Might be my dad. Chris's dad. Yeah. Could be Chris's dad. We think he ghosts us up a lot, actually. Kind of does. Your dad haunts us, happy haunts happy us. Happy haunting. Like, you, you turned know, on our Christmas lights the other day yeah. with no switch on it, no timer, yeah. it just went on. Anytime something weird happens, we should just blame your dad for Yeah. Now. Anyways, had to share, guys. By the way, ghosts need a rebrand. Why are ghosts constantly like doing bad things? They shouldn't. Like, why can't ghosts do happy haunting? Yeah, they I mean they do. They should get that reputation. They shall. Right? Oh my gosh. By the way, we just got to a baby's baptism. This is what I look like. Matrix. <laughs> Good morning. Actually, it's not morning. What time? It's 1.45. It's been a busy day. I actually went to the dermatologist this morning, which this is officially your PSA to keep up on all of your doctor's appointments. <laughs> I'm the kind of person who loves a preventative measure. I pay a lot of money for my health insurance and I take advantage of it. I am, what's the word? Catastrophizer. <laughs> I am a catastrophizer. No, I was gonna say I'm high risk for skin cancer. My dad's had a lot of skin cancer. I'm also high risk for breast cancer because I have it in my family a lot and my body type is just high risk. I've already been diagnosed with that. So basically, you just keep up. I go to the dermatologist every six months. So I went today. If you live in LA and need a good one, hit me up. But now we're in the car headed to a place we might be moving. We'll see, right? Are we? Well, are we in Esgro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We never know what we're doing, if we're gonna actually do anything or not. But the, this is for, the, 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 this is for us. Is it's that not, decaf really hitting right now? I'm drinking a cup of decaf, y'all. The decaf is hitting, but this, this house is for us. Yeah, true. So anyways, I don't know if I'm gonna like actually share that this is happening yet. Maybe I'll edit this out of the video, but I'm definitely not gonna show you what it looks like because I don't want to get y'all's hopes up because this place is, a chef's freaking kiss. But we're going to the inspection and we're also meeting our contractor right now. So I feel like allegedly this could be happening. And if it is, when are we like getting the keys? Like when do we own it? How many days? I don't even know, like two weeks. <laughs> I hope okay. It works. This is us. <laughs> wow. Babe, how are you feeling? I've seen this place again with a second now. You like fresh eyes. Like after you see it a second time, it feels maybe a little different. Today is the most Los Angeles December day of all time. It kind of looks like snow right here on my car. <laughs> it's 72 degrees, sunny and stunning out. Just hopped in my car and I'm headed to, in my opinion, one of the best holiday locations in all of Los Angeles, the Grove. And I'm going there because one of my favorite brands of all time nudes, have you guys heard of it? I actually think the founder is a YouTuber. I feel like I should really know more because when I say I wear this brand almost literally every day, I am not exaggerating. I'm wearing it right now also. <laughs> I realized as I was leaving the house, I have my bodysuit on inside out, but it was just like too late. It is what it is. And like, I actually think it looks good. The tag is showing on the back, but again, has anything ever been more me of me? Chris also wears my sweatshirt from nudes because it's so gender neutral. Everything is amazing, high quality, and they have a pop-up at the Grove and they invited me out. So I'm headed there right now, a little holiday festivity, but also some treat yourself moments for me. Just making a very quick 
pit stop at home after the nudes pop up, but I had to debrief because that was the most amazing experience. First off, everyone there that worked with the brand, shout out to Kaylee and Evan. So sweet. I love meeting people from my favorite brands and then falling in love with the brand even more. By the way, this is not spawn. This is just like real love. Also, nothing but real love for the fact that this sweater I am going to be buried in. It is the softest thing. I wish you guys could feel what I feel on my body right now. It feels so good. And the other beyond generous thing that they did was they gave me a sweatsuit to give to Chris and he's gonna lose his mind. He's gonna be so excited. He's gonna be over here eating my leftover soup, waiting for him to get home, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so babe, you know how today I went to the nudes pop-up? Yes. Well, I told them, I was like, oh my goodness, I love your stuff. My husband loved wearing the sweatshirt that I brought to Europe because he did not pack a jacket and it turned out to be a little cold. Yes. Well, guess what? What? They were like, why don't you pick out something for him? They gave you something very nice. Okay, close your eyes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Open your eyes. What is it? It's a hat. And look at this. This feels cozy. Love it. And... Matching set. Come on, this is cozy. Isn't it amazing? And I'm gonna borrow it too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the nudes squad. Do I look like a fashion mogul? Yeah. Good morning. Okay, I've decided I am kind of like not the best at this vlogging thing because I never know when to end them. And then I realized I've been telling you guys I'm gonna do a weekly vlog and it's like monthly. It's starting to get so long. So I'm saying it, I'm going on the record. Today is gonna be the last day of this vlog so that I can get it up ASAP. Actually, that's a lie. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow morning too because we're flying to Arizona, but enough about that. What I'm getting at is that I'm sorry it has taken so long, but just a lot going on over here at the moment. <laughs> And tonight we're actually throwing an annual holiday party for our Bible study church group. I love throwing these parties and I need to like turn this area into a little masterpiece. Also just like a quick PSA because I know that a lot of people out there feel like, oh, my house isn't nice enough or big enough or fancy enough or mature enough or whatever to have people over. Guess what? I'm here to tell you we live in a not even a 700 square foot condo. We have thrown the most amazing ragers here we have literally had this place packed like sardines uh, we've had like probably 60 people inside this place and i'm not exaggerating and guess what no one cares what your house looks like they just want to be invited to have a good time give them a cocktail give them some cheese give them some great company and literally no one cares anyways i have to stop talking because i have a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time and then i have to catch a flight at like 5 a.m tomorrow it's normal it's normal, it's normal, right? We are in full party prep mode over here. The table is kind of starting to come together. Chris is over here. What are you doing? Chop, chop, chopping away. Chopping away. We're doing Mediterranean tonight and I really wanted to do like a fancy table setting situation and I realized I don't have like real napkins. So I know am, you've got some DIY up your sleeve though. Am I cutting up my dress and turning it into napkins? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. So this is my dress from the other day's shoot, which like, let's be real, I'm probably never wearing again and I'm definitely not because I've already started cutting it into napkins. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I think this fabric looks better as a napkin than a dress. What do you think? It looks expensive. It does. What a fun little hack, you guys. Take your old clothes, cut it up into <laughs> napkins, invite your friends over and have them wipe their faces on it. It's all coming together. Our house is so cute. I realized I haven't even done a tour yeah, of our house. Time. Oh, I'm letting my mascara dry. Oh, Tyra okay. said on America's Next Top Model that her top makeup tip was that if you get mascara on your face, you just let it dry. It and then not? when it's done drying, it flicks right off. Oh, cool. But you guys, we are like officially the cringiest couple of all time because we're sharing an outfit. <laughs> Anyways, our guests are getting here in 30 minutes and I feel like everything looks really good. But first, here's what our house looks like. <laughs> Also, our table looks stunning. Let me show you. I'm sorry. Here's my dress. 
as a napkin. I haven't lit the candles yet. This is just a wooden bowl on top of a plant holder. Some flowers that I got from Trader Joe's inside of the floral foam. I'm not gonna lie, I feel really good about it. Got some candles over here. Also some fake candles. And then walk us through what's going on with the food. Multiple courses. Okay. We have a brie going right here, a little brie dip. Yum. Okay, thank you, Trader Joe's. Up. A lot of stuff. We have falafel. We have some potatoes, feta potatoes. Then we have our famous salad that we always do. Just chopped up cucumber, tomato, onion. Oh, we have rice feta. over here too. Kebabs. We have like 10 kebabs, all different styles. And the bar is outside. What is our bartender serving up tonight? Come see. Red wine or ripe white wine, seltzer, obviously. And then, so we have vodka and whiskey. And then you can mix that. I did cider so that'd go with the whiskey okay. probably. Love and then it. this is a little sparkling pink lemonade for the vodka. Look at this little tiny glass pot. I mean, look at how little it is. First off, the fact that it can even be on the stove. This is like basically my identity now. The, this is a simmer pot, so you put all this goodness in there. And then it has this tiny little hole right here and it makes your house smell like Christmas. How cute is that? And then this ice mold situation, I put oranges, rosemary, and cranberries for your wine or champagne at the table. Are you kidding me? Look at this festivity. Have you ever seen anything cuter? But this is also on Amazon and I just think this would be so cool with like even flowers inside. Stunning. So this idea where you go to Goodwill and you buy a piece of old art and then you repurpose it and turn it into Christmas art. Y'all, I walked into Goodwill and I saw Rudy, okay? I saw Rudy the deer right there. And I knew that Rudy had to come home with me. So I added all of the bulbs and the Christmas lights. I think it's so great. I almost wanna like leave it up year round if we still live here, which I don't really know. I, maybe we're moving. I have no idea, you guys. What's life? Are we moving? We'll see. But the potatoes are done. <laughs> Phoenix and Do we, we ever not not go a million miles an hour? <laughs> Chris's stepdad dropped us off at the hotel because this is where we leave our truck at all times. It's just parked here. And we wanted to do a walkthrough of one of the units because someone's moving in there today for like three months. QC is that what you call it? Quality check. Let's just say there was a lot that needed to be done. Let's see how it looks. I haven't been in here in so long. Obsessed. Love. Love. It's just some cleaning errors and things. Anyways, have not eaten a meal, but do have this huge share size of popcorn. I think I'm gonna end this vlog right now. Honestly, like I said earlier, I am really bad at vlogging because I don't know when it's supposed to be over. So I'm just ending it. Okay, it's over. Say goodbye. Goodbye. It's over, goodbye. It's not over. Come back next week.